Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rob Balasabas, and in this video, I want to show you how to use StreamYard to live stream to LinkedIn. All right, let's jump into my screen. Uh, before we get started, uh, if you are not using StreamYard, if you don't have an account, then it's really hard to follow this tutorial. And so uh, hit pause on this video, go to the description and hit the link to get a free trial of StreamYard. Uh, that way you can follow along uh, this video tutorial, all right? So um, StreamYard, if you guys have just come across StreamYard for the first time, then uh, this is amazing. I'm so happy for you. StreamYard is an awesome tool to live stream, to record content, to record interviews, to share your screen, multi-stream. Uh, they even have uh, things like uh, StreamYard on air to do webinars and things like that. There's so many amazing things happening here uh, and uses for StreamYard. I've been using StreamYard now for probably four or five years and uh, just love it. And so uh, you'll see a lot of tutorials uh, about StreamYard here inside of my channel. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, hopefully you go check it out use the link in the description again that is an affiliate link so for full disclosure you're going to be supporting the channel by using that link all right so uh, go ahead and do that and let's get back into uh, the actual tutorial here all right so i'm going to switch over to this tab um, once you have set up your Streamyard account this is what you're going to see you're going to see your dashboard um, and so you're going to be going here this is your home uh, so let me just click in here so you can kind of see it so you'll see home here uh, this is where you start out and um, the first thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding destination so I'm going to I'm going to zoom in right here destination on the left so you want to click into that destination so destination basically allows you to connect all of your different social platforms uh, such as LinkedIn YouTube Instagram Twitch all sorts of platforms here so what you want to do is you'll see here that I, I've already added my LinkedIn profile right you'll see that right there my LinkedIn profile is added now if you uh, obviously are just starting with StreamYard uh, you haven't added your LinkedIn profile all you need to do here is click on the add a destination button this blue button right here and it opens up this and so you've got all of these different um destinations here so you've got your facebook's right facebook page group profile you've got your linkedin page uh, and your personal profile here uh, you've got uh, YouTube your YouTube channel you'll see that there and of course X slash Twitter whatever you want to call it these days uh, is there as well now there's also additional destinations here and we can talk about this in other videos um, or let me know in the comments if you have any questions about uh, going live on these other platforms happy to answer your question in the comments or in a future video uh, you may even find a video that already answers uh, some of your questions here all right so you've got instagram live as well as a destination twitch as a destination Hopin, Hopin is the parent company of StreamYard, and uh, Hopin is great for virtual events. Uh, and so, if you're using that, that's how you do that as well. And then for everything else, there's also custom RTMP, and we're not going to get too much into that today in this tutorial. But just know that if you don't see the uh, integration directly with a platform that you want to go live on, there is custom RTMP. All right. So, uh, for those of you, for example, that are using UScreen, right, which is another platform amazing platform it's where i work <laughs> um, you can use rtmp for that all right so uh for for today's tutorial though we want to go live on linkedin and so like i said if you go to my current destinations now i've got my linkedin profile so this is my personal profile already connected to uh, StreamYard, all right? So uh, I'm gonna go into, uh, um, let's just remove that. I'm gonna remove it for you here. Oops, not reconnect, my fault. We're gonna go back into uh, my account here. Da -da -da. There we go. We're gonna remove this, okay? And now that way you see that I don't have my LinkedIn profile connected here anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add a destination, this blue button right here. I'm going to select LinkedIn profile. You can also select LinkedIn page that will allow you to add your business page on LinkedIn, but I'm going to add my LinkedIn profile. This is my personal profile. Okay. It's going to take me to LinkedIn. See that you guys are not going to see my password, <laughs> but you're going to have to sign in. Now, then you're going to get this disclosure. So StreamYard would like to retrieve your live events, including any comments, likes, other engagement data, post live events on your behalf, 
use your name and photo, which they need to do when you live stream and schedule your live stream, create, modify, delete post comments and reactions on your behalf. And you can also stop this sync with this third party in your LinkedIn settings, StreamYard terms apply. You can learn more there if you want to. There's links to everything and you, your use of LinkedIn Live is governed by the LinkedIn events terms, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on allow right here. And now it shows that I've got uh, I've got to choose the LinkedIn profile. I only have one, right? You should also only have one. Uh, so my LinkedIn profile right there. And then now it says right here, your LinkedIn profile was connected. You're all set. Okay, so now that you have your LinkedIn profile, right, inside of your destinations page here on LinkedIn or on StreamYard, what you want to go do now is go to home. So you click on home right here on the top left. And here you'll see that you've got two things, right? This is your streams and recording. You've got your upcoming streams and your past streams as well, okay? So I'm gonna go to upcoming and you'll see some of my upcoming here, just test, uh, different test uh, live streams that I've done. This is my test account so that you can see that here. But what you wanna go to is create, okay? You see the create, the blue create button right here? Create. Okay, so now you're going to see this option here. So you're going to see three options when you create. You're going to see live stream. So this is live streaming from uh, StreamYard. This is recording. So this is just using StreamYard as a recording studio. So it doesn't actually go anywhere. It doesn't live stream anywhere. And then there's also on-air webinar. So this is the webinar feature slash tool that StreamYard has created. Um, and again, this is something that we won't be doing in this video, but is an option. So where you wanna go here, since we wanna live stream to um, LinkedIn, is live stream, okay? Really straightforward. So we're gonna select live stream. And now you're gonna get two more options. <laughs> so it's all about options here, okay? Which is great, which is what StreamYard does really well, is give you the control. So you've got either two ways to live stream. You can either use the studio, which is the StreamYard studio, which I'll show you in just a second, or you can select to upload a pre-recorded video that will live stream uh, when you schedule it. So basically it's a pretend live stream. It's actually a recorded video that just happens to be live streamed into your LinkedIn personal profile, um, similar to a video premiere on YouTube, okay? If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer that for you. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna do this live stream or we're gonna schedule this live stream using the studio, like a really true live stream, okay? So we're gonna select studio here as the source. And then down below, we're gonna select the destination. So you can select, because this is a tutorial on how to live stream on LinkedIn, we're gonna select LinkedIn, okay? Now you can also select other channels. You can multi-stream is what it's, what it's called, which means that you're live streaming, you're doing one live stream, but it goes out to multiple channels. So it can go out to your LinkedIn profile. I can also select YouTube and also my Instagram profile. So at the same time, my one live stream goes to three channels of mine, uh, which is really, really cool. It's a great way to uh, really show up uh, in more channels and get in front of more of your audience, okay? But for this purp the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna set this up for a LinkedIn Live, okay? So you've got two options here. So now you select LinkedIn Live. You'll see here that there is a button that says use an existing LinkedIn event. Now, what you can do is if you want to, you can set up a LinkedIn event ahead of time. Click on that. And you'll see here, I don't have any LinkedIn events, right? And that's what it's telling me. There aren't any LinkedIn events available. Create a new LinkedIn event and try again, okay? So you can do it that way. If you don't have an existing LinkedIn event, then you can set this up pretty easily. So let's just put here a title, test LinkedIn live with Rob Alasabas using StreamYard, okay? That's the title. We can also do a description for now. Let's just copy the description. There it is. And we can then schedule this for later. Okay, doesn't have to be done right now. We can schedule this for later. Now, there are some things here to keep in mind when you're scheduling for later. Okay, especially on LinkedIn. Now this varies from different platforms. Okay, but for LinkedIn, 
Uh, LinkedIn doesn't allow starting more than two hours late, so make sure you show up on time when you schedule this. LinkedIn doesn't allow starting more than 15 minutes early, so you can't start earlier more than 15 minutes. Uh, 13 or 14 minutes, you can start, okay, before your scheduled time if you want to start early. Um, and LinkedIn doesn't support editing the start time once it's created. So once you create this and you select the start time here below, it is what it is, okay? <laughs> so just so you know. Now, the next thing you want to do here is you want to then select the start time and date. So it could be, uh, let's say, I'm going to zoom out here. Let's say it's tomorrow at uh, 9 a.m., local time so it's your local time okay whatever your local time is that's what it, this is going to be based on so we've got 9 a.m tomorrow and then now you can also then upload a thumbnail or you can create one with ai okay so if it's upload a thumbnail it essentially will you can select that upload a thumbnail it'll pull up uh, your file manager and you can pick a thumbnail or you can create one with ai and already it's taken this already and so you can see that it's already taken the title and it's already done that and put the, the words there i can change the color if i want to so let's say i want something red uh, i can show the date and time as well i can change the uh, layout of this i can do some things here that they've already pre uh, sort of pre-designed i can also select a picture uh, from my thumbnails uh, from my avatar and so this is really cool. This is actually a really new feature that uh, LinkedIn has, uh, or our StreamYard has put in. So there it is. So now it's made a little thumbnail here for me, all right? I can also outline this if I want to, uh, which is really, really cool, okay? So I can apply that, and there you go. So now I've got my thumbnail, I'm ready to go. All I need to do here is essentially create the live stream, okay? This button right here that creates the live stream, and this LinkedIn live will be scheduled on my profile. It will show up on my feed and people can RSVP to it. Okay. Now I'm not going to actually set that up uh, at this moment. I just want to show that to you. Um, and uh, where I want you to take you now is what it would look like once you are actually all set up. So um, here's an example. What you're going to see is it's going to show up here in your upcoming streams. And what you want to do then is you want to click on, let's pretend it's this one right here. Let's pretend it's this office hours that I have scheduled. Uh, what you want to do is click on Enter Studio. This is when you're about to go, go live. Enter Studio. I'm going to mute it and stop the camera. You can put your display name right here. There it is. Enter Studio. And essentially, this is the studio. So everything that you see here, and again, I can take you through this in another video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, we do have a tutorial on the studio here, on the StreamYard studio that you can watch to help you navigate through this. But essentially, once you're ready, you're all ready to go, then what you need to do, I'm going to open the camera. There it is. I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, but essentially, what you want to do is on the top right, you can click on go live. See that? That go live button. Once you click on go live, you are live on LinkedIn on your profile. Okay, so there you have it. I hope that helps. That is how you go live on LinkedIn using StreamYard. Really, really straightforward. I hope that was helpful. If there was any point in that instruction, that tutorial that you sort of was not super clear or you want me to kind of run back on, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you uh, really get plugged in with using streaming. I think it's an amazing tool. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Again, my name is Rob Balasabas. Thanks for hanging out with me in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.